Chalo Mutua, who is a senior counsel and former president of the Law Society of Kenya. Today, the school has a population of 1,276 students, 47 members of the teaching staff, and 20 members of the non-teaching staff. Your Excellency, our school performs relatively well. And just as a summary, I want to give the performance for the last five years. And in the year 2018, the school achieved a mean of 8.09, which was 84.5% transition to the university. In the year 2019, there was a drop. The school attained a mean of 7.69, uh, and those who transited to the university were 74.1 percent. And in the year 2020, the school attained a mean of 8.35, 88.1 transition to the university. The year 2021, 8.95 transition of 96.8 percent to the university. And last year, Your Excellency. We achieved a mean of 8.18, transition rate of 85.1%. We are keen, committed, and focused. And your, with your prayers and support, we are looking forward to it this year's target, which is 9.3. And we try very hard to attain 100% transition to the university. <clears throat> Your Excellency, in spite of this courage and determination, sir, we are faced with a few challenges, and we hope and trust your presence around will be a thing. These challenges will be a thing of the past. These are, one, we don't have uh, adequate dormitories, and the ones that are there are seriously congested. We lack science laboratories, We don't have enough classes, and even the current classes, they are still uh, overstretched. They are congested. This school does not have enough abolition blocks. We are looking forward to having some. Our dining hall, Your Excellency, can only accommodate 400 students per shift against the 1,276 students currently in school. We remain loyal to our school motto, pass fear with courage. And it's our prayers that today you'll hold our hand and start the journey towards the resolving and overcoming these challenges. In conclusion, Your Excellency, I wish to commit before this congregation that we are a school that holds and lives by its values, and we promise to deliver great and focused gentlemen from the boys that we get from our parents and our guardians. Trust us, trust the process, and we are going to make you proud. We thank you, sir, and all other guests for finding time off out of your busy schedule to join us for this fundraiser. Let me thank our BOM chairman and his team for support, guidance, and sacrifice in running the management of this school. Minister of Education and Teacher Service Commission for your support. Our bishop, who is also an old boy of this school, for his, his inspirational and fatherly counsel. Our parents for trusting us with their sons and supporting all the school programs. My disciplined, courageous, and wonderful sons. Our hardworking, and committed teachers, and all stakeholders for standing with us and working to make St. Charles Luanga the champion it is today. I plead and beseech all of us to donate generously today and make our dream of having a school with adequate infrastructure a reality. This will go a long way in improving the living standards of our students and also their core evidence which definitely will translate to good results. God bless you all. God keep you well. 
wish you a great day with us. Thank you, sir, and most welcome all of you. <laughs> Having said that, Your Excellency, allow me to invite the chairperson of Board of Management to give a few remarks. Karibu, Mr. Nicholas Mulela. Your Excellency, um, the Honorable uh, Rigad Gashagwa, our Deputy President, um, our CS Education, Honorable Ezekiel Machogu, uh, our CS Tourism, Honorable Penina Malonza, uh, nominated Senator, um, our MPs uh, present, uh, including the Area Member of Parliament, uh, Honorable Dr. Makali Mulu, and uh, the MP for Kitui East, Honorable uh, Nimrod Mbai, uh, our County Commissioner and your whole security team, uh, our BOM, um, our Bishop, uh, Right Reverend uh, Joseph Mongela, uh, our Parents Association, uh, St. Charles Luanga alumni, uh, parents and students, good afternoon. Good afternoon once more. God is good all the time. Uh, mine is just to say thank you uh, and welcome all of you uh, to today's function. Uh, Your Excellency, I'm highly humbled for accepting our request uh, to come and oversee uh, this, uh, this particular day. I know when we discussed this one with you and I mentioned Sir Charles Longa, you told me that you know it's a premier school in Kitui County and you've known the school for a long time, and you promised to work with us, so very humbled that you found time to be with us today. We don't take it for granted. Um, I just want to say that as we start today, uh, you've seen for yourselves, and our guests have seen for themselves, the work that is ahead of us. I want to say we are not uh, scared of it. We are going to do our best. Um, you know, to make this premier institution the institution of the future and the institution of this particular region. So we, look, we are looking forward to a very, very successful uh, day today. Um, as we start, um, I know uh, our, our, our captain uh, talked about uh, a school bus. I know uh, our principal has talked about some of the facilities that we are looking at. But you know the reason why we are in this particular situation is because of the, the numbers that have increased. So our school was built uh, to cater for about 350 students to 400. And today we are 1,276. And I want to say that even next year we are ready to make sure that we support 100% transition. And therefore, um, with those kind of facilities then, uh, we have found ourselves constrained, and therefore that is why we came up with this particular idea, to see uh, if we can just raise uh, some good funds uh, that will help us improve some of the facilities, first of all, do some facelift here and there, but especially look at the accommodation for our students the things that will make our students uh, have a, a good time as they, as, they, as they study here. And therefore, uh, today's, my today's appeal, uh, which the team has not talked about, is um, we are looking at raising at least 50 million today. And I do know that uh, our whole budget can be anywhere about 70 million if we are to get to where we want to get. And if Your Excellency, sir, we are going to have 1,500 students next year, I think it would be much, much more comfortable if we got about 70 million. But that said, uh, if we started with 50, and then, of course, we are going to show how we use your cash so well, I'm sure you'll be happy to come and give us the balance uh, later. So uh, that said, yeah, so, so Asante Sana, and that said, I just want to request my BOM members to just stand and wave to the team. I know you're seated somewhere there. Just, uh, please just stand up and just, just wave to the team. A very, very strong team that uh, we work with, uh, very, very supportive. 
Um, and I think also on behalf of the chair of the PA or the Parents Association, can I just request the officials of Parents Association, please stand wherever you are and just wave. Thank you very much. Uh, I think that said, um, I just want to welcome all of you. I look forward to a very, very successful day. And Your Excellency, uh, I've been promised 100% transition, and therefore I look forward to, de to us delivering uh, that promise to you uh, by next year. Um, and therefore, Karibu Nisana, uh, let's have uh, a wonderful, wonderful day. And my turn here is Muyaseo. Muyaseo Inge. Muyaseo. Tuigunania <laughs> Kwa huu, ni endatu muapreshiti. Mwede na wawo mwende huu. Tumukunangi mbisi ya mwana. Nunduwa kwa ta mwana huu. Kwa kutu kumukunangi mbisi ya mwana. Ila situ kuna kamba. One, two, three. Inge. Inge. Thank you. Funga. So asante sana and karibu uh, most welcome. Thank you. I think at this juncture, I want to welcome uh, the school sponsor, uh, the bishop, uh, right reverend. Bishop Mongela to come and uh, give us some words of wisdom. Thank you. You are who are to come. This is a better place. Those who are here at Mass, you remember the way I finished? I said, today I prefer to a few words, and then you give a lot of money. Tutagumbaliana. Maneno machache, pesa nyingi. Kwa anjili ya watoto, ndi waweze kuishi maisha mazuri. Hata kuliko yale sisi wenyewe, tulipitia. As the sponsor of this school, I am happy with the team, the stakeholders, and what we do to make this school continue being a source of human resource for our county and our country. Those who came here as boys went out as men, and they are doing a lot in our country to make it productive. And we thank those people who have made this possible. I would like us to continue praying for those who have been here, the teachers, in a very special way, as I said, our departed hero, Miss Anton Robert Woods, who came here in 1968 and was here until his retirement, and this is where he called home. And he gave everything for this school and for our country and continue to continue to serve our people in other places. We'll be here to bury him, so it's not much to say now, but just to recognize that and that to realize the little that you do will also be recognized. I welcome you all when it comes to giving. The Lord loves a cheerful giver. The students have identified their priority and I think it has been hard Yangu ni kuongezea vile mmesema na ninyi mkipata kile mmeitisha musome vizuri ndio wakati mwingine waitishe hiyo hiyo umeitisha Tuko pamoja wanafunzi Yes musome vizuri muendelee vizuri Nilikuwa katika shule moja wanafunzi walikuwa naomba wapate TV 
Nikwambia ni sawa lakini sio TV tu. Nataka musome muwe ninyi ndiyo mnaonekana kwa TV. Kwa hivyo na nini nataka muwe vizuri, muendeshe magari ya ngufu na tukiptaka magari ya watoto pole inaendelea tuwe na old boys from here who can even give us more and make this place a good place to be in. The challenge I pose to your students in line with St. Charles Luanga and his companions, 22 young men who had the faith preached to them and they accepted it. And when it came to the time of persecution, they were ready to die because of the faith which they had received. I want to challenge you as young people, parents and those stakeholders, we are here because of you, putting a lot of energy in you. We want peace in our schools. We want you to stand against all that is bad in our schools, issue of drink and drugs, misbehavior. We are doing a lot for the infrastructure. Others are bringing it down. Luanga must remain true to its values. We are based on Christian values, which is what is making us to be here today. I know I've talked with you. We've journeyed together, continue journeying with you. We've given you a chaplain. We've given you what it deserves. We want the very best from you. Yes, we want to restore the glory. We want to move from where we are even to go further. We have aligned all the needs that we need. I, we have a very strong board, and I know it will deliver. And this school, we need to watch this space. We are moving forward, not going back. Kwa hivyo kila moja tuungane ndi utuizidi kusonga mbele. Bwana CS Education, Bwana Machogu, na Bwana Deputy President. I would add, no kama malimu alisema, teachers. If there can be a preferential treatment that you have good teachers, quality teachers send here, I think the students are bright and they will do well so that the population doesn't worry us and the infrastructure and with my prayers and our joining together hands, I know we'll get there. Tumesema maneno machache, pesa ikuwe nyingi, wacha nikome hapo, nikiwa na matumaini kwa mba tutatetemesha ulimwengu siku ya leo, tutatoa kila kitu ndiyo tuweze kunjenga shule. Sio kitu kidogo, ni kila kitu tukolicho nacho, ndiyo shule yetu, iweze kusonga mbele. Mungu awabariki. Thank you. Our Grace, the Right Reverend Bishop Joseph Mongela. Your Excellency, sir, and with your kind permission, I wish at this juncture to request the area member of parliament of Kitui Central, Dr. Mulu Makali, to lead us through the next session as he gives his remarks and acknowledges the members of parliament both in the National Assembly and Senate present. Karibu Muheshimiwa. Uh, Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Mweshimiwa Rigadhi, Mawaziri Walio Malihapa, my friend Machogu and uh, Penina Malonza, Wambunge, Walio Malihapa, and Meona Wenzangu Wengu, Amekuja, Your Excellency, Bishop Mwongela, and the clergy, Walio Malihapa, senior civil servants who are here also from our Kitui County, led by the County Commissioner, Wana Mbui, Walikwa, Wazazi wa shule hii na wanafunzi. Amjambo. Hey, na sasa leo na Mungu ametubariki na chakula. Njaa ndio minga amjambo. Our God is good. And all the time. Wanafunzi how are you doing today? Are you happy? Ah tumpigie mheshimiwa makamu wa rais Makofi tumwambie karibu sana kitwi. Karibu, karibu sana, Your Excellency. Uh, before I introduce to you some of the leaders who are here, Your Excellency will allow me, because I'm an old boy of this school, and that special gentleman who has passed on, Robert Woods, 
has been our mender and it remains our mender for many, many years. Allow me to request everybody who is here, Your Excellency, on his behalf, on my own behalf and on his honor, to smile to the Kamoja to pay Shima Yamusho, Tavalalini. May his soul rest in eternal peace to Katie. Kwa hivyo ni seme kwanza ni kumkaribisha mgeni wetu wa Eshma. Sasa nataka nichukue nafasi ili niweze kujulisha viongozi waliofika mahali hapa. Sehemu hii yetu your excellency kuna wajumbe wa county assembly na deputy speaker of the Kitui County Assembly is also the area MCR where we are today Kitui West Changuia West Ward. So ningependa deputy speaker na your MC also around please. Dakika moja tu mje msimame hapa muonekane very briefly within 2 minutes from there then I will be indicating where we are moving next. So bwana Nzioka, mheshimiwa Nzioka who is the deputy speaker and at the same time the area uh, member of county assembly please very briefly just introduce your names your your colleagues mention their names very briefly. Through His Excellency, the Deputy President, President, all protocol observed. May you allow me to briefly repeat my name. I'm Christopher Nzilo Nzioka, the Deputy Speaker of Kitui County Assembly, and also a member of County Assembly representing this area. So it is my pleasure to invite all of you to Changuidia West Ward. This school has done us proud and is still does up to date. It is straight in our ward and so echo kwa vijana wetu, echo kwa wazazi na kwa watu wa Kitui County. Nikifikia hapo mheshimiwa Deputy Rice, sisi kama vijana tunakupenda sana na tunakuita kwa jina ya utani Rikiji. Karibu sana Jangwidia West, Rikiji. Hapa <laughs> nilipo nimeungana pamoja na waheshimiwa Baadhi yao na wengi wao wakiwa wamechaguliwa na chama cha huda na wamekuja kutushika mkono na kutu support. Because of the interest of time, nitawa introduce pamoja na wadi zao. Uh, on my immediate is... Uh, yeah. yeah. Nitawapea ruhusa kila mmoja aseme jina na ward. Dio mheshimiwa deputy rais asiseme deputy speaker alikuja na waheshimiwa hawawezi kuongea so karibuni sana Asante your excellency Jina langu ni mheshimiwa Paul Maluki MCA kwa Mtonga Kidumula Ward Kitui West constituency karibu sana Mheshimiwa Sylvester Munyalo Kideka aka Yamu MC ya na chief whip minority leader Kitui Kitui County thank you my name Malinga Monyao MC Zombe Mweteka Kitui East na nimechaguliwa na chama ya UDA and I'm also the whip of the party UDA. Thank you. My name is Freedom Maua, nominated MCN na UDA party. Jina lango ni Siamtura Karigi, nominated Tharaka Ward Mwingin North, sub county ya ya, ya Zagiso, nimechaguliwa na chama sa UDA. Your Excellency, the Deputy President of Kenya, my name is uh, Deborah Mutuku, nominated MCR, UDA. Santi, thank you, Your Excellency. Um, Aaron Kilonsi Kasele, MCA Mutuka Ward, UDA Party. Thank you very much, Waishmiwa, 
kwa mheshimiwa makamu wa rais tunasema karibu na uendelee kukuja huko Kitui akamba maasi ya kidhedhe sio kimuka karibu na karibu tena thank you very much okay aya tuwapigie waheshimiwa makofi Okay sasa eh, makamu wa rais tunataka kusema asante sana kwa kurudi kitui eh, juicy i think about two months ago ama three months ago wewe na rais wetu mheshimiwa wa Ruto mliweza kushiriki na sisi hapa kitui sendro kwa maombi na tukasema asante sasa umerudi kitui sendro tena kwa hivyo Tunashukuru sisi watu wa Kitui Sendro. Na nisembe hivi Mheshimiwa Ruto alikuja kwa ishu ile kama vile vijana walisema na akafanya harambe. Na mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa kwa hiyo harambe. Sasa wewe makamu wa rais wakati alikuwa makamu wa rais. Na sasa wewe umekuja pia kuwa makamu wa rais. Na wewe unajua tumetoka mbali na wewe. Unakumbuka ile maana nilikwambia tulikuwa kwa TV station 47. Unakumbuka? Ninalenga naona mambo ni sawa ukanyanga hapo tu sasa tunaendelea kuwashukuru ukweli ni kwamba kama vile umesema unajua mheshimiwa rais e, ulimwambia kasi yake ni kuunganisha inchi na anafanya vizuri na wewe yako ni kuangalia ile register ya shareholders <laughs> na ukweli ni kwamba sisi bwana makamu wa rais kwa upande wao wasiaza shareholders shares yetu si nyingi sana Hakuna kitu kuna kitu mmefanya kizuri. Kuna wa, vijana wetu na wasichana wetu mmeweza kuwapatia kasi. Nikiangalia hapa tunaona Penina Malonza mwenye ameweza kupata uwaziri kwa hiyo serikali ya Kenya Kwanza. Tuna wengine pale naona bwana Muasia. Wale tuko pande hiyo tafadhali watu wamepata kasi kwa hiyo mnyoka Muasia Mbanda Simamento watu waone na muwevu na mnaimu mjulikane mko hapa. Hao ni viongozi katika sehemu yetu na wamepata kupewa kazi na serikali ya Kenya Kwanza na vijana ni wengi makamu wa rais. Eh Mheshimiwa Munyaka ukiongea naye atakwambia kuna mheshimiwa mwingine kwa tunamuita mheshimiwa Charles Nyamai. Waliingia mbunge the same day. Na kwa wakati huo kwa sababu ya prika prika ya siasa Nyamai tukanyoa yeye. Hakutoboa. Lakini kama kuna mtu anakiriti mambo, mambo ya hesabu ni huyo mheshimiwa. Ninaomba pia ile siku ni kuomba ya kijana na ukafanye hivyo. Tumpigie makopi alipea mtambi kazi kidogo. Kuna mheshimiwa anaitwa mheshimiwa Charles Nyamai. Tumekaa naye mbunge miaka 2, ta 2, ta yuko mimi na, na, na chapa ya tatu. Na huyo mheshimiwa pia ni mheshimiwa ataweza kusaidia serikali. Tunaomba ikiwezekana pia naye asukumwe mahali, asaidie serikali. Kana kama mwaziata Nemoa anda sana zitu zile ngo ya serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Ah tuko ni mwaini makofi mingi tu mwenye wewe ni tukwenda ni tukwenda ni tukwenda ni tukwenda ni tukwenda. Asante sana. Nisemwe hivi your excellency kuna wenzangu wamekuja wa mbunge. Sasa ningependa watangulie mahali hapa ili waweze kusema mmoja mbili alafu sasa tumalisie kupande wetu. Kwa hivyo tunamheshimiwa bayana mmoja kio tukio aheshimiwa wenzangu. Tuna ambunge atano mebano wa tano. Wa kwanza tuna Jose Kiptoo ambaye ni mbunge wa Emigwen Kule Nandi County. Tuwakaribisha kwa makofi wote. Tuna mheshimiwa Naika. Naika ni mbunge wetu wa Taita Taveta. Huyu ndiye Kasalu wa Taita Taveta. Tumpigie makofi. Huyu anachapa tam 2. Alinikuta huko, ako tam 2. Tuko na mheshimiwa eh, Ngoyoyo. Mheshimiwa Ngoyoyo ni Kajado North. Na pia ameandamana na makamu wa rais. Mpigie makofi tumwambie karibu kitu ya Sendro. Na rabu tuna kijana yetu ya nyumbani, kijana Nimrod Bai ambaye ni jirani yangu hapa. Kwa hivyo kwa sababu ni viongozi wa eh, taifa nitawaomba tu kwa ufupi introduce yourselves please. Na tuwe very brief to save time to allow the other leaders waongee ndio tuweze kurudisha program tutoe pesa. Karibuni sana. So you can start Jose Kipto. Asante. Um, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, Honorable Rigiji, Vile Tumeambiwa, all protocols observed. Uh, 
the great people of Kitui. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Watindata. Chamge. Okay, kwa majina vile umesikia, Honorable Joseph Kipto kutoka kule Mgwen Nandi County. Mimi tu ningependa kuwapongeza kwa uh, the board, the management, watu wa Kitui kwa shule yenu ambayo mnaitilia mkazo ili kujenga shule yenu. Kwa wanafunzi ambao kwa kwa hapa, mimi kama kijana, nataka ni watakia kila laheri. Mimi pia nilisoma shule kama hii yenu, juzi, nikapata hii nafasi, nikakuwa mbunge kule nandi, na watu wa nandi wakani yamini, wa, wa, they have trust in young leadership, wakani chagua ni kue mbunge. So mnawana hii serikali pia hiko na eh, inajali vijana wenzetu. Ama na mnagani? Asante ni sana, mungu wa bariki na watakia kila laheri. Asante ni sana. Asante sana. Uh, naibu wa Rais, uh, mawaziri ambao wako hapa, machogu na malonza, askofu, uh, wa diocese uh, hii, wale wote ambayo ni walikwa na viongozi wenzangu, wa kristo wote. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Basi mimi naitu Ongogoyo, Amonesmas, mimi ni mjumbe kutoka Kajado North. Kama unajua mahali saitoti ya likuwa mbunge, pale ngong, basi mimi ndio natoka sehemu hiyo. Na nimefraia kufika hapa, meandamana na Deputy President. Ingawa, Your Excellency, mimi likuwa nimekuja kutafuta kwa ofisi ya subui, ukaniambia tukuja hapa, siku jua ni arambe Your Excellency. So, lakini tutapangana tunawewe, siku wa nimejua ni arambe. Lakini kama ni arambe, mimi napenda kutoa. Ile gazi nimelemewa ni ya maandamano, lakini ya arambe, hiyo mimi, ninajua mia kwa mia. Uh, na nataka ni washukuru kwanza, uh, Your Excellency, tunafanya gazi na uyu mbunge, na kwa tami yake ya tatu. He's one of the seniors. Na uyu mbunge wenyu ni mbunge mzuri sana. Kama ningekuwa mtu wa area, ningekuwa napigia ye kura. Simu memchagua mara ya tatu sasa. Mimi sija yona ye kwa maandamano, hiyo ndio kitu yenye napenda kwa vitiote. Na Your Excellency vile anajua umekuja hapa kujenga shule. Pia ya umekuja kujenga shu. Siyo ni mweshimua maana. Na mweshimua zaidi tu ya hapa kuchaguliwa mimi naona tabinguni unaeza enda. Wewe, wewe ni kama utaenda binguni. Sababu wale nilikuwa shua ni mimi na rigadhi jutu meokoka. Lagini wewe, hata wewe ni kama binguni utaingia. Uh, nikienda kumalizia Your Excellency. <coughs> mimi nimekuja kwa sababu pia tunamini mamba ya masomo. Na nikushukuru mkiwa na rais. Wakati mumechaguliwa, tulikuwa na changamoto kubwa ya junior secondary school. Na sasa tukiongea, the junior secondary school has been actioned by this government na imepewa pesa ya kutosha ili tuwe na junior secondary school kabla watoto wetu wakuje hapa kuingia hii senior secondary school. Sio ni jambo la maana. Na niombe tukiendelea mbele yu excellency, tukieka pesa kwa mambo mengi, tuwakikishe kesho ya watoto wetu. Nelson Mandela alisema ile kitu inasawazisha mtoto watajiri na maskini ni kitu moja tu ni masomo. Sini kweli? Na sisi tutazidi kusupport serikali ili ile kutimiza. Ya mwisho nikimalizia, mimi nataka ni wambie kitu moja tu ambaye tutaenda kufanya kwa hii bunge ambaye tunaenda sasa hivi. Tunaenda, tumetokuwa recess, tunaenda kufungua. Wakati watu wanazungumza mambo mengi ya finance bill, for the first time, waziri wa finance hata kuwa na rusa ya kuongezea watu ushuru katikati ya mwaka. Excise duty in between the financial year will be a story that is long gone. And there is no longer VAT kwa mambo ya gas ili tupunguze mambo ya kukata miti na mambo ya kuni tuende kwa liquefied petroleum gas ambaye itasaidia kwa mambo ya mazingira. Situlikuwa na shida ya mvua. Without protecting the environment, the environment will also not protect us. Siyo ni kazi nzuri. Otherwise, sisi tunazidi kuunga raisu wetu mkono William Ruto ili tuzidi kujenga inchi. Mweshimua na kupongeza sana kwa sababu ya kuungana na kazi ya maendeleo. Iko wengine wapendi maendeleo na penda maandamano. Wewe mwenyezi mungu watakubariki na tuenda binguni na wewe. Santi sana. Basi kwa naibu wa rais, rigadhi gashagwa, uh, mawaziri walioko hapa, uh, wenzangu wa jumbe, uh, baba skofu walioko hapa mongela, na viongozi wengine wote wakidini na hata wakiserikali, wazazi na wanafunzi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Kwa majina yangu ni Lydia Haika Mizigi, 
na mimi ni mama county wa Taita Taveta ama women rep wa pale Taita Taveta na nimechaguliwa tena kwa mara ya pili ya makipindi cha pili na mshukuru Mungu sana kuwa hapa leo na tumeandamana na naibu wa rais kwa ajili tuweze kufika hapa kwa sababu ya mchango hii ya shule na wakati tulikuwa tunakuja hapa nilikuwa sijajua hii shule vizuri na kwa hivyo nikataka kufanya research ya hii shule niweze kuijua na nilipofika hapa kwanza nimeona hii hii shule kwa nidamu iko poa Asante sana na ha... na kwa hivyo tunataka kama nchi yetu ya Kenya tuendelee na kufanya maendeleo Mimi nipe, niko katika ile kamati ya bipartisan committee Sisi kama Kenya kwanza tunataka kuendelea na mazungumzo mazungumzo ni kujadiliana mulete hoja zenu kwa meza tuzijadili tulete hoja zetu kwa meza tu, tuzijadili bila shuruti si kushuruti wanafunzi bila kushuru tishwa ama kushurutishana kama nimesema vizuri Jua mahali tuko shuleni na walimu huwa niko makini kidogo na mambo ya lugha. Na basi tunasema tuko tayari kuzungumza kwa sababu nchi yetu ya Kenya tunataka kuijenga na tuijenge tukiwa na amani. Hatutaki hii mambo ya kwenda maana mano. Vijana wetu wa shule hapa hatutakuwa tunawaonyesha mfano bora kuwafundisha kubomoa kwa sababu maandamano ni kubomoa na kubomoa na kubomoa maandamano hayajengi maandamano ni kubomoa tunao vijana wetu wengi sana wengine wamemaliza mashule wako kule nje wakiwa kule nje wengi hawana kazi kama serikali ya Kenya kwanza tunajaribu sana kuona ni mbinu gani hawa ambao wako nje tutawatafutia kazi wako ambao wamesomea mambo tofauti tofauti ujuzi mbalimbali mbali. wameenda polytechnics hawana kazi wengine wamefanya mambo ya plumbing wengine wamefanya mambo ni ma electrician wengine ni wajenzi wako huko nje wanaketi magongoni mwisho wa siku wanaanza kuingilia mambo ya madawa ya kulevya kwa sababu hawana kazi hizo ndizo shida ambazo ziko katika Kenya hii wale vijana wako pale nje tusiwatumie kwa maandamano sisi tunasema tunataka kuwatengenezea kazi kwa kuleta ule muundo wa kujenga zile nyumba na katika zile nyumba kwa yale mambo ya housing wale vijana wanaketi kule magongoni wale ma electricians watapata kazi wale vijana wanaketi bure wa kirandaranda kule na wamesomea mambo ya ujenzi watapata kazi katika huo huo muundo wale ambao pia wamefanya plumbing watapata kazi. Kwa hivyo tunawaomba mkisikia haya mambo ama haya mazungumzo ambayo yanaendelea katika nchi, mjadala mzima wa mambo wa finance bill tuangalie vizuri. Tuusome. Wengine wetu wanasema haa, hapana, hatutaki, lakini kusoma haujausoma. Tafadhali chukua muda wako isome ile finance bill angalia faida zake alafu ndio uja, ndio ujadili lakini usiseme eti vile mtu fulani amesoma basi ameshasoma na vile amesema ndio amesema hapana wacha sote kwa sababu hii Kenya ni yetu na sisi kama Kenya kwanza
tunapanga mambo mazuri kwenda mbele katika nchi yetu. Naomba tuusome na tuweze kujadili kwa pamoja na sisi kama wabunge mturuhusu. Tukirudi bungeni, tuende tupitishe ile finance bill ili watoto wetu wapate kazi. Asanteni sana na pongezi kwa maendeleo ya shule hii. Mungu awabariki. Na ninawashukuru sana kumrudisha rafiki yangu japokuwa hayuko hapa leo amen let down sijui yuko wapi mheshimiwa Kasalu Mama county wenu wa kitui. Ni rafiki yangu asanteni kwa kumpatia kipindi cha pili na nimemzungumzia kule bunge. Atukua tumeipanga, atukua tunaijua kama itakuwa na tuko hapa tukua wazima na kuna watu waliamuka na wameenda mochari. Lakini sisi tuko hapa. Sina muhimu tushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Jambo la pili, your excellency eh Rigiji our deputy president super deputy president sisi tunakutambua sasa umechaguliwa na mara ya pili hata mwaka ijaisha na huko kitui kwa hivyo hiyo tunaitambua na tunashukuru sana waziri mashogu asante sana kwa kuja na his excellency kuangalia mambo ya hii shule eh, waziri wetu eh, my mom fenina malonza Eh, wajua watu walisema uelewi wakati walikuwa wanaangalia eh, mawaziri wakiandikwa juzi ile ripoti imetoka kulingana vile mawaziri wamefanya kazi wewe ndio number one sasa sijui hii kuelewa ambayo wale walielewa wako nyuma na yule mwenye alikuwa elewi ndiye yako mbele hiyo hiyo kipimo hiyo 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 mita ya kupima ichunguzwe waanze kupima vizuri this is a village lady and she knows the problems your excellency hii ni msichana amezaliwa na kulelewa in the village anaelewa shida ya watu ndio sababu aliulizwa anaulizwa mama zao ya America ana wajibu ya kijiji wali wa mama wako sasa wakaona elewi lakini wapo wakati ambao kazi ndio wakaelewa sasa anaelewa eh yeah. chairman wa shule hii bwana Mulila tunakuheshimu sana bishop Mongela thank you so much for how far you've taken the charge tumefanya kazi na wewe principal wa, wa shule hii hii shule koti ya principal ni kubwa sana. Ile koti inapaliwa na principal wa Zeni Jaulwanga, si kama ile koti inapaliwa na ile ma principal wengine. Ni koti kubwa. Ilikuwa na woods, ikawachoa wengine. Sasa naona umeivaa na nimepima ukiongea hapa nikaona unatosha. Kuna watu wanaweza kuja hapa kama principal mtu akimaliza wiki afukuzwe kwa sababu atoshii kwa ile koti. Kwa hivyo na kushukuru. Na pia nimesikia umetetea shule yetu. Umeongea mpaka nikashindwa. Sasa unataka nini? Sijui dom, sijui dining hall, sijui bus, kitabu, walimu, nini? Sasa kuna mama moja alikuwa anajifungua. Na anatoka mahali ngine hapa Kenya tu. Sasa wakati uchungu ilianza anasema huu nishike mgongo, nisike kichwa, nisike 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 tumbo. Sasa akagua mashida kila mahali na umma ajue atashikwa wapi. Sasa your excellence wewe ndio unajua mahali utashika huyu mwalimu. Kwa sababu tumejionea watoto wanalala wameshikana kila kona, mahali watoto wanakula, sijui wanakulanga na mashifts ama ni namna gani. Na hii shule eh, CDF ya Mheshimiwa Makali haiwezani naye. Ile CDF inapatikana kwa kwa mambo ya development haiwezi shule inataka wazito na sisi tuko hapa na leo your excellence mashogu tupange hapa najua kuna harambi na najua waziri pia hapo na pesa yake ya ministry makali ni mtu wa waipa lakini uliza your excellence ile siku tulikuwa na president pale kanisani kwa AIC alikuja na akakuwa na sisi na akashukuru serikali leo 
Deputy President yako hapa amekuja na ameshukuru serikali. Ujaona mtu mwingine wawahi hapa hapa. Kwa hivyo ukipeana fedha kwa shule ya Makali Mulu ni kama unapeana fedha kwa mtu ambaye hako na shares. Kwa hii serikali. Ni vile tu anapima naona nikienda hivi nitakimbizwa sana. Lakini tunajua watu wengine kama ni Mrodi tunatafutanga mahali tutakufia. Tunaamua kwenda tufanye vile utafanywa. Kwa hivyo uh, kwa ministry tukipiga rambi kwa ministry mheshimiwa Mashogu atuangalilie hii shule. For wewe ndio utawezana nayo. Uamwagie pesa mwalimu ajenge. Uh, sitaki kuongea mengi. Your Excellency the Deputy President mimi unajua nilisimama na chama ya UDA wakati kitui mzima hakuna mtu alikuwa anataka kuonekana kwa UDA na nikajikaza hapo kama mwanaume na tukajikaza tukajikaza sana mpaka mpaka watu wakaanza kukuja nikapata mama Malonza timu mwingine tukapata timu sasa nikagua tuko sawa na Mungu akatujalia hata kama makali anasema shia sio mingi lakini Nimrod Wajua kuna wanyama wakubwa na wengine wadogo. Nimrodi ni ndovu. Kwa hivyo Nimrodi akiwa peke yake Kitui, mumbungu wa UDA, shias ya Kitui iko. Inatosha. Kwa sababu unajua mahali serikali iko, haiwezi kuuswa Nimrodi akiwa karibu. Hata ukiniwacha hii Kitui, nilisema wale wanataka kunifanya maandamano wakuja wafanye Kitui. Wacha hii wanafanya huko. Hapa tutashindana hakuna kufanya maandamano. Kwa sababu tuko na shida ya chakula, tuko na mashida ya school fees, tuko na mashida mingi, unatuita tukafanya maandamano, alafu tukimalizana, kwanza hawa watu ni gamu, hata wapai watu kitu wa kukula wagena nyumbani. Sasa, tutafanya kazi na gani. Jambo la pili, na ni muhimu sana tuonge hili. Inji yetu ya Kenya tunaambiwa 1964, wakati baada kupata independence, 1965, tulikuwa the same level na Singapore, South Korea, Taiwan. Na zile inji kuna mambo zilifanya saa hii zinaelekea kuwa first world countries. Sisi bado tuko third world country. Na yale ile kitu hizo inji zilifanya ndo zituache na maili maelufu katika maendeleo. Ndiyo tunapaswa kuangalia ni nini walifanya ndo tufanye ndo tufike ile mahali. Kana nani anaona hilo? Kila je kwenye South Korea, kila je kwenye eh nzi zitu nene kenda ikabi kama hivi kite with ngenge ya America na hitu tuokuuma tene ni kitu alio sisi ata Kenya nundu toye na momi ya Yesu kiuchumi na matutia matutia na maili mengi biu ni kitu alio sisi ya ni cha utalete kuika kenda tumakwatie na hiyo kila mekie kibwana kutia alo ando ala tu tiere ba ya ndo ali kana na kutia wala kwa kwa meru te media me banya ne matia ando ala dilika matanidi alo Ano wala nilika matani di. Pe matani di nilika wapaku maloko bata embu. Pe matani di tembu. Au wengine matani di na utoka na mtoto na unyapiga nduru. Hiyo ilionekana wapi? Kama unataka mtoto lazima uingie matani di na lazima ukubali kupiga kufanya nini? Kupiga nduru. Ile jambo Singapore, ile jambo Taiwan, ile jambo South Korea walifanya ndio jambo William Ruto anasema tufanye leo 60 years after independence. Na wale watu wa, wale watu wenye waelewi kwamba hii ni jambo inafanywa ndo tupate mkondo wenye utatupeleka level ya Singapore, level ya Taiwan, level ya, ya South Korea. Bado wamebaki na siasa ya kungangana ayo huyu ni kuje kumutoa kwa kiti. Kwanza tuelewane. Siasa ya 2027 iliisha. Rais anajulikana ni nani? Ama namna gani? Kwa hivyo kama unapiga siasa kwa sababu ya rais, sahau. Hii hiyo ilienda kitambo. Na huko mbele vile mimi naangalia hata ilienda. Kuna maneno tunaambiwa ya finance bill. Ambayo hiyo finance bill ndio Singapore walifanya 1964. Ile finance bill Kenya inafanya leo ndio Singapore ndio South Korea walifanya 1964. Na sisi tukabaki pale hatukufanya ndio tukawachwa. Leo ndio inakuja. Leo ndio Kenya inaingia maternity. Ndiyo sababu unasikia nduru lazima tupige nduru mtoto atoke Alo Alo na your excellency mtishi na watu wale watu walipigia William Ruto kura wako nyuma yake ni vile si watu wa kelele 
au watu wengine ni wakelele mingi ndio wanaona ni kama finance bill hakuna mali inaenda finance bill itaenda itapita kwanza mimi kura yangu sijui nipige lini nikiambua kesho nifikie finance bill napigia kwa sababu 3% ni ya mijengo hiyo 3% tupate 2000 units ya mijengo ya mjengo hapa Kitui town hata wale vijana wako hapa hawawezi toshia kwa hiyo mjengo watachukulua wote na ni kazi inafanywa for 2 years kwa hivyo kijana amepewa kazi kwa mwaka mbili bila kusimamishwa kazi na ni, ni mrodi likatwa elufu tatu peke yake yule ana ngili tatu si huyu tadhi akana no ndio wewe mwoe hello secondly wenye wawana kazi ala tute andike yote bata ala andike mo tulombe zaniki hello ama ido kuya inye ni modoko ma hello ni modoko ma inye ni mogo wa modlo gendo ani murodi ni dite kuwa tidlo e tena makale dite kana te gadilo e dite lo e hello makale ni murodi malombe kashekwa principal mashogu penina ma mca ni mo magu wa madilo e kila mundu mbeza kende inengetiana titu ya no ndu meba wa na mbeza titu andu atu na mo ni madilo kitu Sina ingetia na titu ya. Titu ya kana tuwe katilue. Kwaanza titilue. Ulo kwaanza titu ya nambu ni na kwako. Ulo kwaanza titu ya titu ya titu ya titu ya. Your Excellency watu wa kitu hii wanasema. Tukatwe hiyo pesa 3%. Isaidia wazazi. Wenye watoto wawa ajepatika kupata kupata kasi kama sisi. Sasa mwenye ataki kukatwa. Eee na yule jamaa wa shaka wala di the same thing. Halo. Halo. Mmenipatia ruhusa mimi nikapige kura ya kukatwa pesa? Mmenipatia ruhusa nikapige kura ya kukatwa pesa? Kila mahali kitu haezi kuwa percent right. Hiyo finance bill mheshimiwa Makale Mulu ni mtu wa mahesabu. Mheshimiwa Makale hiyo finance bill haezi kuwa 100%. Lazima kuna shida iko mahali. Na kila kitu iko na shida. Hata bwana yako wako na shida, hata bibi yako wako na shida. Na mnakaanga na yeye. Lakini hii mambo ya kukatwa pesa wale watu tuko na kitu kidogo kama county commissioner isaidie kijana. Ni mungu waze makale hii hadilwe? Makale hii nduma sendro makale hii hadilwe? Hadilwe? Makale hii hadilwe? Makale hii hadilwe? Anumaa kumaze no hadilwe? Kwa hiyo ndo kwa za hakuthi? Kana na atende? Hata watu wake huyu hapa ni kwa kena wame muambiwa katwe? Hii maneno hiku hapo. Na kura tutapiga ya finance bill. Ndiyo Kenya yifikie level ya Singapore. Ndiyo watoto wetu watoka kwa shida. Javo langu la mwisho. Hii siyasa ya kutishana hakuna... Kule ilipigwa Rais William Ruto anakalia kiti Rais William Ruto alikuwa inji ya serikali Na wajamaa wakashikana wa dynasty wawili Watu ambao walizaliwa wakapata bedere inawebea kwa nyumba zao William Gideon Moy Railo Odinga Uru Kinyata Walizaliwa wakapata bedere kwa nyumba yao na wao wakashikana wakiwa watatu na asla peke yake William Ruto akasimama akiwa peke yake mtoto wa makasikini. Wao ni watatu lakini hii kasla moja kakawamwaga chini. Na bado walikuwa na serikali, walikuwa na deep state, walikuwa na deep state, walikuwa na system na walikuwa na fedha lakini wakaangushwa. Sasa vile Ruto wako ndani ya serikali na wao wameanza kuhangaika. Sasa watamutoa na nini? Tegola niwe. Wewe bado mabiga? Wewe bado madhi? Ano meiru maki tui na ndati na nyeziaza zia huo. Makali, nene tekelo kwenda. Nene onaroo. Ndina mbothela yola kini, ilani noni yungo kano yungokuwa. Nandhea kui uo nungone. Nene thea. Nundu webiti na nwete na mandu wa mama ngotele. Nundu kwa rea nizeka onde ya adhi. Kana natende? So, ndale. Udala ndwala ngela mebuku wa gundale. Labu tazatani ya ndikilele Kana kasha kwa andabie Yo excellence huyu mzee ya nataka kitu Kubwa Mkava na yapa Ndiyo na muambia Akiongea na wewe bizuri Mimi nitagua chini yake Lakini na ee Akubali ima neno yetu Ndiyo ndiyo tuende Sindiyo Ndiyo wale wako wa mbatie Na wale wetu wafanya nini Kwa sababu ni jamaa wa meonyeshi aneza fanya na zarekali Ana wakati mulikuja hapa kukwa MP ama senator wa waya pa mwingine ye ndi ya likuja leo au jawana mwingine ye ndi ya mekuja na ye ndi ya the strongest huko hao wengine wote wawezani na ye kisiasa na watake kukuja 
Jamani tupigie mheshimiwa Makalema kofi. Mali watu wa kitwi tuvemfunikiwa ni kama tuko shakaola ati makenzi akisema tukuve tunakufa. Huyu mwingine akisema wafungwe tunafungwa mpaka tujitoe hapo. Na tunajitoa hapo kwa sababu ya serikali kuingilia. Vile your excellency mmeingilia mambo ya shakaola ukambani tuko na shakaola yetu kujeni mtusaidie jamani. Ndio tuondoke kwa shiki shakaola hii ya kisiasa. Thank you so much na Mungu awabariki. <laughs> Asante. Uh, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Rigadi Kashagwa aka Rigiji, uh, our ministers, my colleagues uh, in the in parliament. Kwa majina naitwa Tabitha Mutinda, nominated senator na chama cha serikali chama cha UDA. Mimi ndiyo senator peke yake kutoka ukambani. Mimi ndiyo senator mama peke yake pale bungeni na chama cha UDA. Pia National Assembly hakuna mama mwingine ukambani isipokuwa mie ambaye natoka na chama cha serikali. Ishara ya kwamba serikali ya Kenya kwanza ni serikali ya watu wote. Waliponipa nafasi mimi hawakuangalia lakini walipatia mtoto wenu mtoto mmoja ambapo tunajivunia tuwashukuru kwa sababu kaunti ya mkuu ya kuzaliwa ni kaunti ya Kitui Niseme kwamba shule hii ni shule ambayo mimi kama ambaye natoka hapa ni shule twajivunia sana kwa heshima yao nina mandugu ambao pia wamesomea hapa na nyota zao bado zangaa twashukuru shule na pia the board kwa vile wameendesha shule hii tuwashukuru sana mimi kama mwanasiasa sikosi mawili nianze niseme maneno ya maandamano imezungumziwa na nimesema katika bunge la seneti mimi ndiyo peke yake kutoka kaunti za ukambani wale wengine wako katika, wako katika upande wa upinzani na niliwaelezea mimi pale bungeni maandamano mimi ukambani yatufanye So nikiwa hapa representation yangu ni kubwa kuweka heshima ya ukambani sisi hatuweki sufuria kwa kichwa sisi kama viongozi toakaa na twazungumzia na washukuru wenzetu ambao wameweza kuzungumzia finance bill kwa sababu kama viongozi jambo njema kama kuna shida ni kukaa na kuzungumza wameleta matokeo yao na tuwazidi kuwasikiza lakini niseme hivi tukubali tuseme ukweli wakati tuwazungumzia 3% ya finance bill wacha tuzungumzie 8% exemption tumetoa kwa tax wacha tuzungumzie exemption ya raw materials ya fertilizer wacha tuzungumzie exemption ya raw material ya pharmaceutical products tuzungumzie exemption ile serikali imetoa ya ushuru ya pesticides Mkijua agriculture ndio sekta ambayo inaweza tusaidia sisi kama nchi. Wakati wanazungumzia jambo moja ya 3%. Na 3% inasema maximum ni 2500. Kwa hivyo kama wewe utatozwa 500, mwajiri wako atakuongeza 500. Sio lazima ununue nyumba? Hapana, kuna njia nne mwafaka za wewe mwenyewe kuchukua ile fedha. Wacheni kudanganywa kurudishwa tu kwa sekta moja ya kusema ya kwamba basi kama nina nyumba mbona serikali wanipa la serikali yasema pia waweza kuchukua zile pesa ukazitumia zikakufunufaisha waweza patia mwanao zikamsaidia mambo mengi watu wa upinzani hawataki kuambia na hawataki kusema kwa sababu wanataka umaskini uzidi kukita mizizi nchi hii sisi kama serikali ya Kenya kwanza hatutakubali hayo tutazidi kuungana na rais William Ruto na naibu wake Rigathi Gashagwa kusonga na kutekeleza yale manifesto tulizungumzia niruhusu nirudi nyumbani kidogo ando maito weke ndio utanu kuona kana bila tubikie tena serikali no ni utuendete tuweke kwikia 
kusukuma selekali nza tuma thoche suomu nene ueva ndeva anundu ni mukamba eva anundu wa maendeo kwa sababu ya ile maendeleo ya inchi yote hajachagua marafiki aliyo kuja nao ambao tuko nao pale bungeni sio kwa sababu tuwaongea lugha moja lakini ni kwa sababu ni wa Kenya ambapo waendelewa shida zetu sisi wote kwa ujumla na waomba kwa wale mlipigia kura wapande ile nyingine waacha wawaeleze ukweli vijana wetu wazidi kupata kazi kwa sababu ile sababu wapati, wataki vijana wasaidike ni kwa sababu wanataka kuwapatia kazi ya maandamano itakuwaje mzazi usiku na mchana wafanya kazi ulipie mtoto school fees ulipie mtoto wako school fees serikali nayo ije ikusaidie naye ule wapande ile nyingine akwambie nipe mtoto wako karushe mawe ulisomesha mtoto karushe mawe my boys mlisomesha alafu mnaenda kurusha stones hivyo ndo mnataka ni aje my boys hivyo ndo mnataka wale wengine wana phd ya kurusha yale mawe nyinyi muwe na phd ambayo itakusaidia mtoto ili umfurahishe mzazi ndoto ya mzazi yoyote ni kuona mwanae amesonga wakati niliingia pale bunge nilikutana na wachache wakaniuliza hii jina ambalo unaitwa Mutinda Mutinda alikuwa nani niliwaambia sikizeni hapa serikali ya Kenya kwanza haiangalii mambo na dynasty imetupa sisi equal opportunity na vile tumekuwa tukisema wakati wa moyo walisema vijana wa kesho ndio viongozi sasa hamna kesho sisi ndio tupo hata nyinyi sasa ndio viongozi sasa so katika ile nafasi tunazidi kupewa na haya mambo unaona wale wenzetu wanajaribu kurudisha nyuma msia kubali kamwe and may tu ni kuacha ni tu anena na mwa sio kama haya msi mweka mweka kwengo onakana kesi hawa <laughs> kayuma subu bebe aona kauti huo tio mwisi maondoa su kutu hiyo mesie na ni tukuo na cheni na ngaia mwadhime matukuonze thank you okay tuwapigie wana siyasa makofi unajua sehemu hii ya kukondroa na siyasa na kuanga ngumu sana kwa sababu wanapata mshahara kutokana na kuongea sasa wasipoongea au mshahara tafanya nini ninaamini ya kwamba vile wameongea kwa wingi ndio watatoa pesa kwa wingi haya tuwapigie makofi ndio wajitayarishe watoe pesa sawa kwa wingi wakati tukifika si ni sawa your excellency as i said earlier i'm an old boy of this school Niliingia hii shule 1984 na I joined at A levels. Kwa hivyo nilipoingia nilikuja nikafanya combination inaitwa MG Econ. Mathematics, geography and what and economics. And you know during our times your excellency because I know you are also that around that time hata ulikuwa shule wakati wetu economics ilikuwa inaanza kufundishwa a levels only so the first time i was given a definition of economics was in this compound nataka nikuelezee your excellency tuko wengi kenya hii imefaidi sana kutokana na ishule sana sana kwa upande wa accountants finance officers na watu wale wako business oriented courses na najua wengi wamekuja na kwa sababu leo pia ni siku yetu wale tulisomea said Charles Luanga at one time in your life please tusimame ili tuweze kuonekana na sisi tujulikane tumefika wale tulisomea said Charles Luanga tukiongozwa na chama ni wale wale tulisomea Luanga so these are some of the old boys na nataka kukueleza your excellency these are people who have done great for this country and they continue to do great for this country so to get to Tafadhali Tuwapigie makofi old boys of the school. Uzuri ni kwamba wengi watu wameleta watoto hapa, watoto wao wanasoma hapa. Kwa hivyo unaona a good school produces good students who become fathers and as a result of that they also bring their children to to the same school. So wengi wao wameleta watoto hapa. Na your excellence ningependa niseme hivi. Pale alia unajua wenzangu hapa wameongea sana juu ya maandamano. Na rafiki yangu Ngoyoyo pale anajua amekuja mbunge tu anja maliza mwaka mmoja. 
sisi tumekaa huko kulikuwa na maandamano 2013 kukawa na maandamano 2017 na inaendelea kwa hivyo tusilalamike by the way maandamano iko kwa katiba yetu si mnajua hivyo wa Kenya maandamano iko ndani ya katiba inasema wewe kama mkenya una uhuru wa kuandamana uambie serikali nataka nini ila ambaye atakikani ukiandamana ufunje mali ya mwenzako kwa hivyo tusije tuka, tukafanya maandamano yaonekana kama ni shetani mkubwa hapana si shetani mkubwa maandamano sisi wa Kenya tulipigia kura tukasema iwekwe kwa katiba eh na kwa sababu hiyo kwa sababu hiyo mnasikia sababu hiyo watu wanapoandamana watu wanapoandamana ile tugefenya kama wa Kenya kama tunataka kusaidia inji mnasikia kama tunataka kusaidia inji ni kuulisa ni nini watu wanaandamana na your excellence kwa sababu you are the second in command i must say hii jobo tumetengeneza the task force zile ya 77 please kama tunataka kusaidia inji au watu tuwapatie nafasi wafanye kazi yao wakiongea bila kupishana na watengeneze kitu mzuri ya inji utaona mtu amekanyaga kwa barabara lakini kama wataenda mchezo cheso basi maandamano itakuwa ni lile lazima tukubaliane watu waendelea kuandamana na hiyo ni right yetu hatutakuwa tunafanya makosa ni lazima tuongee ukweli ile ingine your excellence because you are here and i'm sure your are mps might not be able to tell you the truth mimi nina phd in economics my phd is in economics ukiuliza waziri amesema mimi ni mtu wa mahesabu na ukweli mahesabu na, na, na mimi na mathematics one thing ameniambia ile hesabu niliweza kupata kukosa kidogo ni hesabu ya kutoingia kwanza, Kenya kwanza na hiyo nakubali hiyo hesabu hiyo hiyo si kupata lakini ukweli your excellence na ni vizuri tuambie wakubwa ukweli ndio tusaidie inchi your excellence ukiangalia finance bill mimi nimekaa mbunge miaka kumi na moja. Sijai kuona finance bill ingine yenye na upishi kama hii ya mwaka huu wa 2013 2023. For the last 11 years I've been in parliament. I've never seen it. And the question I ask myself is why this resistance? Why? Unajua sisi wa kama tukiresist huku is expected as I said earlier sana sana tuna a lot of shares kwa upande wa siasa. Lakini ukiangalia register ya taxpayers your excellency wa kama tumejaa huko ama namna gani wagamba tuwe backward ye alama kwa zetu backward kwa kwa leo mwana mwambozu we pay you taxes na ndio tunasema kwa sababu tunalipa tax na hii bill ikipita tutaendelea kulipa tax we must get it right how do we get it right you are saying there are only two controversial things only two na kama hiyo mgaweza na nina tani lazima tushukuru rais jana nilisikia ile ilikuwa ya vijana ile digital creation Rais amewaondolea. That's what we want to see. We want flexibility in terms of matters finance so that ukiona hiki tunafinya watu wako sana unaondoa. And your excellence you are you are no one musomi. Na kwa sababu huyo musomi mimi wale tumesoma economics the basic principle is that no country in the world has ever developed by taxing people beyond their capacity to pay. No country in the world. None. And you must say the truth. So kwa sababu unajua tax ni process tu. At the end of the day ni pesa kwa mesa ila watafanya kazi nani. At the same time pesa ni tax pay. Sisi tunalipa, tunapea rigiji na boss wanatumia kulingana na manifesto ya Kenya kwanza. So the money belongs to the tax pay. And because that is the case, I want to appeal to you Pana Deputy President. Ukikutana na Rais Jioni Mwangalie two things. Mambo ya kuongezea VAT from 8 to 16%. I'm now talking as an economist. Sasa hii mambo ya siasa hii ni kitu nilianza juzi juzi. Sasa hiyo hii ndio ninakulanga hii hii naongea juu yake. Mambo ya kuongezea VAT from 8 to 16. Please let's sober up as Kenyans and look at that proposal. Tuulizane hii ilikuwa inatupea pesa ngapi kwa mfuko wa serikali? Is there an alternative way of raising the same amount? And if you need that alternative way, I'll be there for consultation for the sake of my country. The other thing I need us to talk about, Your Excellency, ii mambo ya nyumba, 
Hii mambo ya nyumba unasikia mbaya akisema huyu. Huyu akipigia hiyo kitu next week atafutwa na watu wa kitu huyu. Utamuona tena. Atafutwa. Waje ni kwambie kweli. Atafutwa. Kwa hivyo ili ili tuweze ku, 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 ku take care of our leaders wasiwe na shida. Can we get to a round table your excellency? Tuangalie hii 3% housing levy. Kila mkenya anataka house. And I, I really even mean nataka nyumba additional. I have one. I don't mind an additional one. But can we make sure that we get this house in a way that we don't really arm our people? And I want to tell you, Your Excellency, once you get those two right, uta sikia ata mbunge, uta sikia maneno. Lakini kama itaka vile mekaza hai, Your Excellency, wengine lazima tutatoa suwari kwa mbunge. Tukisema no. Sini lazima tusema kweli. Eh, kama itaka vile mekaza, I don't pretend myself. If it will be like it is, Kura ya makali wa amulu, itakuwa ambik. No. That can be reported in Kenya. For those two, lakini sikitengenezwa, I'll be lying. I have no problem. Na wana ninjua mi, na kujua tumefanya mengi na wewe. Na court utanilea kulipa. Unasikia tuliongea mamba ya cessation. Ulisikia last weekend. It's not a secret. Tukua kule kwa mwishimu wa kalonzo. Tuka seme mefika maali. Kama sisi kama wa Kenya, tuta jisikia ni wa Kenya. Tutakata hii inji marambili. Tulisema na mna hiyo. Ni lazima tuongeo kweli. Na kwa sababu watu wanaongea hivyo ni kwa sababu ya kwamba wanaona kama wataanza kuwa wanatengwa. Sio sio because we want it. We gave reasons. We must look at the context. So we want a united country where when we pay our taxes, we get value for taxes. And on that note, your excellency, sisi watu wa kitui. Nimeshukuru wewe na nikashukuru mweshimewa kwa hile barabali nataka wa kibwesi kuenda mwingi ya alami. Na tukasema ni ya sandi. Tuwapigie makofi kwa kuhakikisha kwa matumepata hile barabara. Na tunashukuru sana. Kwa sababu saa hivu, Your Excellency, kuenda Mombasa, I only need four hours, ni melandi kwa, kwa mbaari, na ni meanza kuswim. Four hours. But Your Excellency, there are two things, other singers in that road. Na sisi kama viongozi wa semu hii, pamoja na mwishima wambai, because wa semu hii, watu wetu wali walitoa mashamba yao, Your Excellency, hawanja hii kuwa compensated at all. At all. Natako kianza kurudi njimbani, Your Excellency, kwa kwa ndege, Utupe macho kuna kijiji na hitwa majengo hapa. Utaona vile watu wamekaa. Tulitoa hawa masikini wote kwa mashamba yao. Barabara ipite, barabara ikapita mpaka wa sasa wanaishi kwa rendo houses na mtu ni masikini. Shida kubwa. Kwa hivyo kama itawezekana please note that utuangalilie hiyo ni jambo moja. Jambo la pili, barabara imekuwa mamali, unajua tuliwaambia siku ile nyingine. Kama ingeweza ifike mbondoni, jiwe shikanishi yore ya mwingi na kitui. Iwe tukienda kitui ya kuna aja kwa na kanyonyo, tunakata hapa, itaibrufu. E, itaibrufu e, mambo, ya, mambo ya, 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 ya kupeleka vitu mwingi na watu kusafiri. Lamwishe your excellency, umanda amwisini my constituency. Jana, tumemalisa kufanya budget ya inji. I sit in that committee. Na ukweli ni kwamba, tunge, pe, kama itawisikana your excellency, tungependa kuona yu badamu. It is one of the 2030 flagship projects, Umandam, which was done, that, uh, you remember the Fusion 2030 by, by Mwishimu Kibaki. That program is still hanging, tunawamba kama itawezekana, tuweze kukwakikisha kwamba iyo project imepewa, era pia, ndiweze kumaliziwa. But kwa ujumla, your excellency, want to say, as people from this region, as we are in the opposition, it's not a secret, but being the opposition doesn't mean you oppose blindly. That's why we have gone to school, that's why we are... We have waited text to analyze issues, and where they are good, we tell them. Tia zasia kusobi, and this is ya kwa nanga. Na tukayende ya na osobi, and this. Nga inu utuwa adhimi ya nambua, ni mkwa nondo matumaya kali le. Tuwele na kumutu unge ya mubea. Na liwa uratu kwa tatafadhali, tu sobi, etuwe ke miundani. Wethi mbua ya hithela, tuina kituwa nina kwea. Elua kwa natuwa abona, kuli tuwa kutu kuli tuwa kutu, nduka kwa na ingi. Mundo buni, ndo lituwa, nituwa kata nata. Kutu dhukumana biti, tuina kata, tuina ilitua. Kwa hini ndawa kwa senu, sewa alamu ukie, 
Let's be together for the sake of this school. You have to say that I will say that when I'm contributing. Like in Shule Kama I Alwanga, Shule Kama Kitui High School, Your Excellency, Shule Kama Mulango Girls, Shule Kama Mutun Sendajiras. Those are the old big schools in this constituency. Now, Nipende Nispende, CDF Yangu, I hear it, it can be with those four and the babies in Guinea. They're going to have 57 schools, secondary schools. The others have, done, have managed to do science lab for all of them. Why is Guido going to be a CDF? So, because I know my children. Some money for infrastructure. I'm going Waziri wa elimu, and from there you will be calling for us, His Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. And we will now do it for you
Hao ni baadhi ya waliofaidika katika serikali yetu ya Kenya kwanza. Na hapa tuko na commissioner wajisema tumejaa kwa haraka mpaka hapa. Alafu hao wengine nitawataja. Thank you very much uh, your excellency. My name is Mwasia Ben Mwasia Mutiso. I am a commissioner at the Commission on Revenue Allocation. Thank you. God is good all the time. Asante sana, Your Excellency. I'm uh, Dr. Victor Munyaka, former member of parliament for Machakos Town. I did 15 years as a member of parliament, and I want to thank God and I want to thank Your Excellency for appointing me to be CAS in uh, Minister of Lands, Housing and Urban Development. Thank you very much. By Tomo Yaseo, Koma Setoni Tawa Patrick, Musili Bangula, Na Somia St. Charles Luanga, Na Koma Ushirika Domain Tree, No Mundi Na Sanenduko Kakwaka School, we know, Nivea Chairman of the Water Works Development Agency, Na Pondewe Nemoeshimewa Rigadi. Thank you very much. God is good, and all the time, Kwa majina mimi naituwa Moses Banda na mimi niko katika Presidential Economic Transformation Secretariat kama advisor wa President kwa Financial Inclusion na niko na furaha kuwa hapa leo. Asante sana. Asante sana mweshimiwa Naiburais au wengine wote baadhi yao ni wale walishika chama ya UDA pamoja na tulipigana sana na wengi pia wamepata kasi ndogo ndogo katika ministry zetu kwa hivyo nawashukuru asanteni sana naomba mheshimiwa naibu rais niseme kwa kirebu ya kwamba uliponipea CS mkiwa na rais pia mlikumbuka kaunti hii mkatupea pia na PS Jona na mweke, angekuwa pamoja nasi, lakini ako na kasi anayo ifanya. Pia tumeona commissioner, financial advisor, nominated senator, uh, na pia tuko na regional commissioner, anatoka eneo ili. Na wengi, kwa hivyo tunashukuru sana mweshimiwa nae rice. Yangu ya takuwa machoche sana, Kwanza na shukuru shule na uh, uongozi wote wa shule hii. Kwa sababu wakati nilikuwa naibu governor wa county ya kitui. Nilikuwa na demonstrations nyingi kutoka kwa shule. Lakini hii shule haikulete demonstration. Na nataka ni shukuru kwa sababu your neighbors kitui school walienza kulete demonstration. Lakini wakati tuliongea nao. Ata leo hii ndio wanaongoza kaunti ya kitui. Nataka ni washukuri sana vijana wetu wa shule hii. Tuko hapa tuwasaidie, tuko hapa tusimame nanyi. Tuko hapa pia tuwaeleze serikali ya Kenya kwanza imefanya pia kasi hapa. Na la kwanza ni sile miradi mheshimiwa naibu rais umeesa kuanzisha katika kaunti yetu. Ifi karibuni uliesa kumtuma PS wa water na aliesa kuja hapa akaangalia umadam na baada ya siku kidogo umadam ikawekwa kwa gazeti kama ilo mladi ambao mtaesa kukamilisha tunashukuru sana mheshimiwa naibu rais vile vile uliesa kutumana kuna silanga tulieka katika blueprint iko pale kitu west ikaangaliwa pia kuna phase 3 ambayo ni kiambere inalete maji kule chuso iliesa kuangaliwa na ukatuongezea pia phase 3 ambayo itakuja mpaka hapa mwingi west tunashukuru sana mweshmua pia tumeona barabara ya uko mudha tayari umeipeana ili yese kuangaliwa iweke katika sile barabara zitawe kwa lami Tunashukuru mweshmiwa na iburais. La mwisho, ningependa pia ni kushukuru.
kwa sababu mimi ni waziri wa wanyama pori na utalii na pia mambo ya turadhi zetu ifi karibuni nilikuwa makueni tukianzisha mambo ya uh, our indigenous knowledge ujuzi watu wa zamani ili uweze kuandikishwa tuanze kupata pesa na kushukuru zaidi kwa hiyo pia nataka kukushukuru kwa sababu kuna kilio cha dofu katika nchi na simesumua watu wetu kwa sababu kulikuwa na kiangazi na nikatembea katika ofisi yako nikakuomba fence na uliweza kushughulika paku umeweza kusumbua treasury na tunajua hivi karibuni utatupea uh, mambo ya fence funding ya fence tuweze kufungia hao dob watoke kwa watu vile vile wakati nilienda huko mwingi niliweza kuzungumza nao kwa kilio cha watu wa Kitui walikuwa na njaa ndofu ameingia kwa mashamba nikakuomba chakula last week nilitembea constituency mbili nikawapea chakula na wamama wako na furaha na wababa kwa kuwakumbuka asanti sana andomaito Noinyo nina atuani deputy governor wenyu. Na noinyo lani na ukie kwenyu nina mwitia kibila cha uma ni rep. Na noinyo laku la sia kwa itaneana. Ende nondo nga inde wika ni hai vula na mondo. Ana nililikana na raisi wituana tulilikana oteo ashamba otumete mistuni tunalilikano lakini niwaambie vizuri hata kama kulikuwa na kutelesa siku ya feti na nyinyi mnajua ilitoka wapi acheni hiyo maneno ama namna gani ai kutoka kwetu lakini tunajua ilitoka wapi kwa hivyo nataka kukuhakishia mheshimiwa naibu rais mimi nimejikasa tutapambana na hao dofu mpaka hao dofu tuwakamue fedha hao watu wetu wasaidike Nimetoka Ethiopia usiku na tulikuwa tunaongea mambo ya ndofu Afrika mzima na tumesema hivi sisi wa Afrika tutaongea kwa lugha moja na tutahakikisha haitakuwa wanyama wa, mw, wa mstuni ambao hatatupa faida kwa hivyo kuna mipango mizuri katika nchi yetu uh, ya Kenya ando maito nebikite vuve udhuku Teo mwiti ya skulu serikali ndi mwendete ni muumitika kwako tikalo vinsani mpake ndi na moyensi mani kwobya na twa mwobesia na tunasima tunoa ingieni katika serikali atutakubali ukamba uachwe nje kwa sababu hiyo miaka yote 15 tumeachwa nje Unaona hata wameanza kuongelelea juu ya dhoke damu. Pesa iko karibu kwenda kwa sababu ya kuongelea. Mheshimiwa makali na kuheshimu sana. Wewe ni ndugu yangu na wewe ni rafiki yangu. Tuambie wakamba wetu ukweli. Hatutakaa nje ya serikali tukose miradi. Lazima tuingie kwa serikali tupate miradi. Ama namna gani? Ninge mwetu eti yaba kana na tenti tio tukwenda siwangi bumete to nondo na mumanye bina kana na tenti akwe kindu kino ngalina ngali kana na ta kwa hivyo tunaomba pia nao wakuje wasaidie mali tutafika na hao walete mijengo mingine hapa mimi niko tayari kukatwa fedha nina moyo ni mwingi mundu lote kwenda eti lombesa enda mtu we mwinja mumukune akura ende nesa inyo mutende nesa lazima wakatwe ama namna gani lazima wakatwe tunaposikizana ndio tuweze kuendelea nashukuru sana nashukuru sana kwa sababu mmesa kunisikiza hata hiyo mnakataa tuko tayari ama namna gani Asanti sana. Kwa hiyo machache ningeomba ni mwite waziri. Waziri wa elimu, 
ambaye tuko hapa Ezekiel Mashogo makofi kwake kwa wingi Unajua huyu akisema orofa ibanikwa hapa itabanikwa kwa hivyo karibu waziri Ya the cabinet secretary tourism my brother and my friend the area mem and the alumni and all the parents and the students amujambo amujambo tena muyaseo muyaseo mbuyamore Mbuyamore. Ya yeah, thank you very much President of the Republic of Kenya for your commitment and the keenness in matters of education and above all knowing the agenda of government in uh, education matters. Your Excellency, when I came here, there is a school in Maumeria a uh, bishop must be knowing it, also known as St. Charles Rwanga. The only difference is that this one is Kitui and that one is Ichuni. And the other one is that that one is a girl's school and this is a boy's school. Your Excellency, the record of this school is a school that consistently The school principal said nine point three. I want to be like an ego. But an ego flies very high. And uh, somehow, the difference between 8.8 and 9.3 so and the students who are very hard working in this school to make sure that they improve a little bit so that we can have a mini score of 10 because I know they have the ability, they have the capacity, and they have what it takes for them to be able to make it to 10. Muko tayare? Muko tayare kufika kumi? And also, sir, of course, the capacity of this school is 1,000 students. That is, the infrastructure or development can comfortably be able to cater for 1,000 students. But the number that we have here now is 1,276. This is not unique to only this school is almost something which is affecting us countrywide, but as a government, we are trying to mitigate on this challenge as we go forward by providing the necessary required facilities and with the members of parliament, I'm sure that in due course, the requirements in terms of infrastructure in this school will be done. Wakamba Muko, Wakamba muko, old boys muko, mimi kwanza ni wapatie saramu kure pahali naisi natoka 
kwa wakisi tuko na wakamba wengi. Your Excellency, mtoto yangu ya kwanza, wakati alimarisa university, aliretu hapa kitui kama daktari na akawesa kufanya kazi hapa kwa miaka miwiri. Na hile tahapa mbaya wakati nirirete ye katika hapa kitui town, niripata ni mamba ya nyumba. Miesi miwiri, iliyopita nilikuwa na ndugu yangu ambayo tunaisimiana sana. Rafiki yangu makari muru mchumbe wenu, kure cherumani. Ndugu yangu, reo Kenya, bahari hiko ni wambia ukweri. Sida, ka uwondo kakingia uh, uh, mwiri, kama ni kofi ikingia rasimu wafanya nini? Si rasimu wamesa dawa? Au utakaa tu ukufe? Kama ni mareli ikingia kwa mwiri, rasima upate dawa ndi upone. Mimi, pamoja na mu, muru, makari muru, bosu wangu alikuwa na kataa ye, kwa sababu kutoka serikali mwaka Eruo mbili na kumi na saba, mimi na muru tulikuwa wajumbe. Iko pahari mimi na muru wakiwambia ukweri, tukarete tahabu ambaye sasa rasime suruiswe. Ile ambaye tulirete ni kwamba, ile mukopa ambaye Kenya wakati ure ilikuwa imekubariwa kukopa kiwango ni tuirio ni sita. Mimi tukiketi kure kwa niaba yenu, Na mimi ndiyo mmoja wao na ndugu yangu makari kwa sababu eh, Bosu we ndiyo rikuwa nasema Ay, Hii munaenda saidi eh, Makamu wa raisa hapa ndiyo rikuwa nasema Ay, Ni inji simuenda saidi Tukaweka deni kufika Tuirione kumi Ile ambaye Inji yoyote kifanya Ukiebuka kuripa ile deni Iyo inji itaenda kubaya Utasikia imekua kama gana Imekua kama kitu ngine Na serikali hii mimi na shukuru kwa sababu kiongozi wetu William Samuel Ruto kiongozi wetu wachawa kwa niapa yetu sisi wote watu wa Kenya tumechitorea kwamba dasima ile tulifanya tulipe ile serikali ambayo ilichukua ile mkopo wao walijua malipo itakuwa wakati mwingine na malipo ndio sasa imefika Mbaka my friend the economist Ata hile euro pond Ambaye tulijukua Saindi o tutaripa Hile mambo yote ambaye tunaurisa jameni Reo masomo tunataka bilioni miasaba Kwa sababu katiba ya Kenya risema ya kwamba mutoto wa Kenya Wa primary, wa secondary Rasima serekari Serekari ya ina samba Serekari ya ina biyasara Serekari ni wewe na mimi Serikali ni ile usuru machogo watatoa na wewe ndio kwamba tuweze kuhakikisha ya kwamba mipango iwe ya maji iwe ya parapara imeweza kutimika. Hakuna pesa ambaye pengine mheshimiwa naibu wa rais atasema ataenda kuusa hata akiuse iweze tosa Kenya ni sisi wenyewe tuchitoree. Wakati tulikuwa na mheshimiwa makari mura akiwambia ukweli Tulifurahia kitu moja tukasema historia ya inji hii Jeremani ambaye menderea historia ya Saudi Korea Singapore ni watu wenye walikuja pamoja wakasema kwa kuungana kwa kuchitorea muhanga lazima watoe inji yao pahari iko waweza kuifikisha pahari ambaye inatakana kufika leo hivi eh, makamu wa rais niwaambie kwa ruhusa yako wananchi Changamoto ambaye tuko naye jameni na mheshimiwa makari sijui kama hapa iko kila sehemu ya Kenya watoto 180000 wanatoka mashure universities na middle level colleges kila mwaka wale ambaye wako nyumbani pira kazi karibu milioni tano leo serikali ya William Samoe Ruto na Gachawa wanasema atuwezi endelea hivyo Dasima tupange na tuja na njia kapambe ambaye taakikisa hii watoto wa kimalisa sure kila musasi unataka wapata kazi. Kwa sasi muko, munataka watoto wetu wapata kazi. Munataka hiyo. Sasa kama munataka hiyo, 
Serikali hiyo ndio mipango kwa sababu serikali ya William Samoei Ruto na Gachawa imesema tukiendelea file hiko kusema kweli watoto wetu watapata kazi na kila mkenya lazima afahamu ma hospitali yetu ukienda kuna dawa na ndio tunasema sasa machogu ile msara napata na ndugu yangu muru e, makara hapa karibu milioni sasa kutoa elfu moja mia saba kweli hiyo ni mingi mimi serikali na muru iko mpango akifika punge yeye iko pesa anapewa ya kununua nyumba interest ni 3% sasa wewe walimu wangu wako huko wao wakipata nyumba jameni ni mbaya macho wakitoa 2500 peke yake ndio watoto wetu wapate kazi fire fire watoto wetu na haya waweza kupata nyumba mzuri ya kukaa kwa sababu ukienda kule Nairobi Slam simejaa kila pahali imeanza kuja hata kitui kwa hivyo jameni leo tuko hapa na nashukuru your excellence kwa sababu tuko na mchango i thank the parents i thank the committee for coming up with this arrangement because it gives us a platform the parents the alumni the teachers and all of us to collectively support this school because indeed your excellency you were able to see what is required in that dome we require money so that we can be able to build this school the same way we require to come together as kenyans so that we can be able to take this country to another level kwa sababu hakuna wengine watafanya hivyo isipokuwa ninyi ni wasalamie wakamba nikifika kule wako wengi kisi ni wasalamie ninyi nawaambia niwaambie makosa mlifanya moja mnataka muambiwe hata msijana yangu alikuwa hapa sasa vijana wakaangalia jini jameni eh eh sasa eh, akatoka fira fira lakini mkamba wakamba wakija kwetu ya excellence Si, aku na yura narudi. Kofu wetu wakitui dauses. Right Reverend Joseph Mongela. Mawaziri wetu. Rafiki yangu mweshimu wa makali. Viongozi wote ambayo mefika hafu. Wanafunzi Vaitu Moyaseo Moyaseo Engi Gaini Museo Mavinda Ode Muriega Muriega Rigi Nisalimiani Koheo Buanaesu Asifiwe Buanaesu Asifiwe Tena Asante Nisana Baba Wetu Askofu Mimi Sina Maneno Mingi Tumekuja Kwa Mambo Ya Kazi na mambo ya maendeleo. Tulikuwa hapa Kitui miezi chache iliyopita na Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya Dr. William Ruto kwa ibada ya shukrani tukimshukuru Mungu kwa yale mema ametendea Kenya na sana sana kwa kutupatia uongozi. Kwa hivyo huyu chairman wetu bwana Murira rafiki yangu alikunialika na nikamwambia mimi nitakuja kwa sababu hii shule ya St. Charles Luanga Kitui iko nguri ya Kenya ya kipeke na wale watu wa Kitui wako pahali katika serikali katika professions katika biashara wengi wao walipitia kwa shule hii kwa hivyo chairman alipokuja alinialika nikamwambia nitakuja na nikaenda nikumuona rais William Ruto nikamuomba pia amsaidie amenituma na salamu umepokea na pia amenipatia kitu nimletee sisi 
yetu ni maendeleo tulikuwa kwa uchaguzi na hii watu yazimio tukawanyorosha sasa si nikufanya kazi tungoje pale mbele na hakuna bahati tumeenda tutapatana pale mbele lakini sasa ni wakati ya kufanya kazi na sisi hatuna maneno ya ubaguzi mimi nimekuja hapa kitui hapa si kwetu wale wengi mlitupa kura yenu msituni lakini tuko hapa kwa sababu nyinyi ni wa Kenya na kufanya makosa sio mbaya ubaya ni kurudi tena kikwetu wanasema kuteleza so kwa hivyo hakuna shida so mimi nitakuja hapa nitarudi tena tena nitatafuta urafiki na nyinyi mpaka tuelewane rais ameniambia tafuta urafiki na watu ya kitui kwa hivyo nitarudi tena na tena na tena e, tutakaa na nyinyi mpaka tuelewane mkipita kona tunafuatana na nyinyi mpaka tukae vile Kenya inatakiwa ikae kwa hivyo tumekuja kwa sababu shule iko na kazi mingi ya kufanywa ni kweli nimetembea kwa dormitory na iko shida there is congestion hata pale moja ilikuwa library hakuna plaster watoto wetu wanakaa vibaya pale dining hall iko kidogo sana wanaenda three shifts four shift saa nyingine wanakula chakula wakiwa nje kunaweza kuwa na mvua kunaweza kuwa na baridi ama jua kali pia mambo ya shule hii ni ya zamani ni ya 1965 umri wangu. Kwa hivyo hii shule inataka marekebisho na ni lazima tusaidiane. Kweli ni kwamba mheshimiwa umesema vizuri ya kwamba unataka usaidizi kwa shule hii. Unataka ka usaidizi kwa Kitui High School. Has been hiyo damu haitaji. Hii pesa natuuliza kwa shule hii tutatoa wapi? Mimi ni mkulima mdogo, mshahara yangu iko. Wewe Lazima na hapa ukabani tupate maji ya irrigation tupate chakula ya kutosha mwezi mbili tatu iliyopita huyu waziri wenu penina haja nipatie amani akija kwangu kutafuta chakula ya kuleta hapa ukabani ukabani mkipata dams ya kutosha hamstahili kuomba omba chakula nyinyi ni watu mko na bidii Tema hiyo maneno ya kukopa haiwezekani tena kwa sababu ukijipata kwa shimo ndani huwezi kuendelea kuchimba unasimamisha kuchimba ndio uangalie vile unaweza fanya nini kuchukua ushuru mwe itabidi tukope na tu na hiyo ni maneno hawezekani nafasi hata kama mnataka kufurahisha wananchi kwa sababu watu saidi zaidi wanataka kutoa that is normal hata askofu anajua hata pale kwa offering inakuwaga na kibarua so hii lugha ya kuambia lakini uwezi ambia watu wazitoe at the same uombe shule zitengenezwe itakuwa haina maana because unaongea na lugha mbili kwa kwa one side unasema watu wazitoe ushuru. Then unasema tunataka maji, tunataka barabara, mashule iko shida. Then how do we do it? Let's be truthful. Najua mimi ni mtu ya kuongea ukweli. Mimi am a man who speaks the truth. That is the truth. People we must collect taxes 
to finance our development expenditure to finance our recurrent expenditure juzi mnasema hamuna walimu ya kutosha tumeandika 35000 teachers we need to pay them sasa ridhadi gashagwa na mshahara yake milioni moja ndio atawalipa hiyo pesa tutachukua kwa wananchi ndio tulipe hao walimu tunataka kuandika wengine 35000 next year lazima tuwalipe hiyo pesa itachukuliwa kwa wananchi that is the truth so as much as tunapika siasa na kufanya maandamano na kuweka sufuria kwa kichwa ni sawa but you must also be truthful to the people that if you don't collect taxes there will be no development that is the truth so the choices are there ukweli ni kwamba pia mheshimiwa unajua ni mzuri nikwambie hata kama utapinga hiyo bill itapita you don't have the numbers so iko haja gani kupinga kitu ambaye haitapita there's no need tulikuja hapa ukabani tukaambia nyinyi huyu mzee akitenda wili kuna pahali anaenda tutamwangusha tukamwambia hii mzee akitenda wili amekosea wakamba heshima during the day haiwezekani ati Kenya ingawa mara mbili atakuwa marais wawili sio ni ndoto ya mchana it is not possible and you leaders from the ukambani nation you follow this man blindly mkijua ni uongo kama hiyo mzee amechoka kukaa Kenya siaondoke peke yake Kenya iendelee there is no problem akitaka kutoka atoke aende ukweli ni kwamba amejaribu mara tano akuje ajaribu mara ya sita if you people want to lead the kaba nation into opposition for the fourth time that is your decision hakuna mtu atakataza nyinyi kwa sababu Kenya ni nchi ya demokrasia mlifuata huyo mzee 2013 mkaanguka mkamfuata 2017 mkaanguka mkamfuata 2022 mkaanguka unajua Ukipanda maharagwe na haimei upande tena haimei upande mara ya tatu si unabadilishwa unapanda mahindi so is a decision the leadership of this region has to take for how long does the leadership of ukambani want the region to remain in opposition that is a decision you have to make as leadership from where i sit this region needs to be in government because of the issues surrounding this region mambo ya maji mambo ya barabara mambo ya kila kitu this is a region that needs to be in government mshimwa mulu my friend we are good friends this man tulikuwa na yeye kwa show hapo tunangangana u nini nini hapo inaitwa T47 wakati ya break nikamwambia mtazama wakaniambia si uru kenyata hako nikamwambia hakuna sisi hiyo tuko kwa ground hii maneno iliisha sama na nyinyi mkifuata hii mzee mtaanguka na yeye akuamini i'm telling you mheshimiwa my friend because me naona you are sensible leader wewe umekuja kwa maendeleo and you have done the right thing na hata hao wakukuja mtumanie hawa tukitoka watume mchango yao kwa principal kwa sababu mliwapigia kura kama wataki kuja kwa sababu tuko kuna pahali shule imeenda si shule iko tu hapa mtumane kwa kalonzo msioka atume hata kama ni bilioni moja ikuje isaidie shule mtumane kwa seneta atume hata kama ni 300 ikuje ijenge shule mtumane kwa governor nusu milioni ikuje ijenge shule kwa sababu hao ni viongozi mimi regadi kashagua sina mtoto kwa hii shule niko na mtoto we have come because we have a responsibility as leaders to develop our country and there is need at how viongozi wa waipa wakitembea kwa hii shule they will be embarrassed 
wamekuwa kwa uongozi miaka mingi hii shule inakaa aibu they should come to this school wajenge kwa sababu hii shule ni hapa sisi tumetoka mbali tumekuja kujenga they are not here wako na mshahara si afadhali hata wakati wa hiyo 3% kwa sababu hata harambe watai kutoa si wacha tukata hiyo watu pesa kwa sababu wakiambiwa atoe kwa hiari yao hawezi toa sasa hiyo watu yote iko na pesa they are not here it is my belief that kama wataki kuja kwa sababu tuko hapa tukiondoka prisipo wako hapa bishop wako hapa wakusanye pesa walete tujenge shule hii kwa sababu hii ni shule ya nyumbani and charity begins at yeah you know mheshimiwa mimi na kuheshimu sana you know you are doing the right thing na mimi nakuambia video naenda mbele iko sawa lakini usipinge bill wacha tulete maendeleo hapa lakini kwa maendeleo hata hiyo unataka ya governor this is the right way wewe kaa na kila mtu pahali watu nachanga kuwa hapo pahali raisa ako kuwa hapo wacha watu wakuone unashikana na viongozi wengine kufanya maendeleo that is the way provide leadership hivyo mimi ningetaka sita kupitisha hapa nataka niseme tumefurahi na hii kitui tuko na shukurani hapo mlikuwa mmempigia uhuru kenyata 8% sisi na William Ruto mkatoongeza 29% nataka niseme asante and for 29% in kitu is good shares yenu hapa ni mingi kwa hizo kali yetu you are doing well na hii tutaisukuma from that 29 paka huko mbele kwa hivyo mtakuwa mkiniona nikikaka ninarudi nikikaka president anakuja tunataka tutafute urafiki tutafute urafiki tujuane tupendane tuelewane shida yenu tu ni kufuata ile mzee akuzimia mwacha na hiyo mzee mzee sasa <laughs> amengangana hiyo miaka yote sasa atapeleka nyinyi wapi where where will he take you na yeye akujagi arabi akujagi kanisa anakuja tu after every five years mnampigia kura i don't understand you people i am still learning the combination naendelea kujaribu kusoea kuelewa nyinyi lakini mimi ningetaka kusema tujaribu kujenga hii shule we'll do what we can and uh, the ministry itafanya vile itawezekana na tutaendelea but this is a good school na vijana nataka kupongeza nyinyi for your good discipline na good performance vile waziri amesema tujaribu tusukume hii performance past 10 si ndio Sitasukuma vijana? Nimesikia mnalia mambo ya basi. Eh? Yeah? Yeah. Na hii viongozi wenu hii hawaipa kwani ya muulizaji hao amsaidie chochote? <laughs> kwani hii viongozi kazi yao ni gani? What work do they do? So they are everywhere. Mimi sijasikia wamenunua hata basi moja. Eh? Yeah? Wamenunua hata moja? Eh? Yeah? <laughs> Watu washitue. <laughs> waziri Malonza tusaidiane na wewe. Tutasaidiana na huyu waziri Malonza tutatufutia nyinyi basi moja ya Scania. Eh, yeah, alafu. Tamsaidia. But we want to challenge the leadership of this region. They have been in politics for so long. Can they show a single thing they have done in Ukambani? One. Kanisa moja pale shule moja pale basi moja hakuna sasa the last time William Ruto alikuwa hapa mimi nimekuja the leaders are around here so ukienda area zingine viongozi hata wale wa upinzani wanafanya kazi lakini mimi napongeza huyu mheshimiwa hata we mheshimiwa kwa CDF put good money in this school you know the way i look at these premier institutions these premier institutions in every county It is good to put sufficient funds mujenge shule moja ya county shule ambayo itakuwa the model school in the county so mheshimiwa consider and put sufficient funds in this school we'll do what we can do as a government na sisi wenyewe tutachangia wazazi wachangie then we see what we can do so vijana vile nimekuja sasa muko sawa ntupange bashi kidogo si ndio kwa sababu sasa waheshimiwa wameongea mpaka umechelewa na lunch. So acha mimi si nipange lunch ya kesho. 
Si ndio? Kwa sababu Kwa sababu nimekuja mimi ni kiongozi amwezi kula ila lunch mumezoea. Si mkikula chapati ni sawa? Na soda. So ile captain wapi that good captain? Yeah. Nitakupatia 500,000 ya lunch yao vijana kesho. Mpange vizuri. Diwao vijana waweze kukaa sawa sawa. Sasa wacha tufanye ile kazi imetuleta hapa. Sisi tumekuja kazi. Sisi ni watu ya kazi. Siaza imeisha tuko kazini. Aya mwalimu how do we go? How do you want us to proceed, Masara? mwalimu ita watu yako the school for much have you raised mwalimu